All-Star Game. It's a perfect place to make a last statement in this game and bow out with it. All-Star Game without Scottie Pippen and without Phil Jim, but more so for scoring. <laughs> Here is Michael, the head fake on Garnett. Over him into the lane with the game starts to. So much for being sick. Yeah, I think he's okay. He's got the bounce. He's got the skill. He's ready to put on the show here today. The countdown. Nobody has missed yet, Bob. I think that's a lot to do with the fact that so many great players are here. There's the they say they're going to do something special for us, and I want to see what type of tricks Gary Payton got up his sleeve. Kemp's turnover that's happening out there. Payton with the spin. Bryant, Kobe's first all-star hoop. It's amazing, Bob, when you watch Kobe Bryant practice and, and, and work on his game. Go up and wasn't in position to help to handle the pass from Peyton. A little land together. There's a lot of passing. There's a lot of movement. They're cutting on offense, and the teams seem to be running their lanes wide also on the fast break. He to enjoy all the festivities because of the sickness of his uncle there in the hospital. One of two for Shaq at the line. Jordan from the head of the key. Some time in these games, though, there's the opportunity to make a simple play, and they try to put a little bit more on it, and it backfires that time. And Malone has the rebound. Pegging it ahead for Bryant. Picked up by Garnett. Back to Kobe. Oh, see that? And Hill comes nice. away. See, this is the game where you want to have a lot of oohs and a lot of ahs. Lee's image on the Jumbotron overhead. As we come back, Jordan takes the quick inbound pass, and his shot rattles out. Here comes Bryant ahead of the field. Reverse slam. Oh, that, that, see, that was an ooh and an ah and a clap. See, that's what I'm talking about. In an all-star game, you want to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Kobe understands at a very young age how to entertain. The great outlet pass started it by Shaq. A lot of centers don't outlet the ball anymore. They want to be involved in their own offense, but Shaq knows. Except maybe in the All-Star game. He looked a little impatient there that last trip down the floor. He's got the ball in his hands again. To Garnett. Back to Kobe! Ooh. See, that's the ooh. Kobe and Garnett. You know, two of the youngest the superstars. Keying up, eyeing each other. As they get their tempo and they get their rhythm, the game and the pace will start to quicken. Now they need to push it up the court and keep pushing. But at the NBA at 50 celebration last year, Kobe told us, he said that he learned from Earl Monroe and Tiny Archibald that patience. Up the floor, takes it in, dumps it off to Hill, and the reverse isn't there, but Jordan stuffs it home. Now they, now, they, now they gotta push it up. Somebody gotta get it in bounds and push it up quick. The rim, everybody else only a spectator. Jason Williams of the Nets checks in. Jordan, baseline, got it. The thing that's happening out here today is nobody's double teaming anybody. How much did you listen to your all-star coaches, Isaiah? Well, I listen to him all the time because I was young and afraid like Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Count it, plus the foul for Jordan, who now has eight and a chance for nine. But Michael told him, bring your A game. And if you don't bring your A game... Circumstances. If somebody else changes those circumstances, then I don't want to be responsible under change. Grant Hill. Jordan. Jordan intercepts it, takes it in again. You're allowed to use all your moves because the coaches wisely have decided not to employ any traps or any double teams. Bryant for three. He did. Eddie Jones to Peyton. Peyton to Bryant. Spin move. Left hand. No good. Tip try by Jones isn't there. Baker will try it for the West. Kobe into the lane. To the hoop. And he's oh. Lots of bench players have been voted All-Stars, but they played as reserves off the bench in the All-Star game. Only three, Havlicek, Marley, and Kobe Bryant, have started the game after being sixth men for their teams during the season. You know, Jerry West and Magic Johnson's old locker, and when he sat in his locker at the forum, he got chills in his body. Who wouldn't? Mr. Clutch? Glenn Rice and Reggie Miller are getting set to check in. Rick Smith is already in for the use. The Pacer Center, here he is, his first shot. And he's got three-point range. I hope he takes one today. Bob, I think the two most overlooked All-Stars who are finally here are Smith and Kobe, 19 years old. Is this everything you thought it'd be? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely enjoying myself. Uh, it is a top-notch basketball right here, so it's definitely a dream. Now, you said you'd be nervous. You thought before the game, were you? 
No, no. Once I stepped out there on the court, I really didn't feel as nervous, I guess, because I was at home, you know, playing a game of basketball. And I haven't played in a couple of days, so you know, I felt at home. Just another game, right? Yeah, right. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kobe, we look forward to seeing you back in the game. Bye. See, now you weren't feeling well when the game started, but once you got out there, you and Kobe going one-on-one, -on -one, it got exciting. Well, I mean, he's coming at me. I mean, I think that's that's the approach. I think he's being very, very aggressive. And, uh, you know, if, it, if I knew someone was sick, certainly the first thing I'd do, I'd go out to someone. But, you know, I got to defend myself. You know, I'm going to go out there. He's got to play defense just like I got to play defense. They all want to show they've got a handle. Jordan left alone. That's usually not a real good idea. <laughs> but Michael Jordan has the real handle. Uh, David Roberts is just an excellent. Trying to find Kobe. Too long off the glass. Jordan back. On the wing to Smith. Off the Wisconsin, halfway between Milwaukee and Chicago. He said his dreams as a kid were just to go to Division I and be on TV every now and then. Now here he is at the ultimate game. Kobe Bryant couldn't the guys. Van Exel floating through the air, and Jordan has the rebound. 67-51 East. With all those campers li listening to those lectures you gave. Well, not only the lectures that I was given, but Magic Johnson was there. He came over to try to help on a double team, but Michael hit the hoop anyway. You know, the players want to see Michael and Kobe go at it. Every time one of them gets the ball, they kind of let them isolate and go one-on-one. -on -one. Bryant tries to answer at the other end. It's no good. Robinson deflects the shot, and his teammate Tunkin has it. Last minute of the half. It, but Peyton can. Now that's the under run that I've never seen before. He took it behind his back to reverse the way it did, dished it off to Tim Duncan. Jordan. There's no business like NBA business. In the last three seconds, Peyton with the oh. left hand. For a guard, I'm joined by Michael Jordan. Now everybody is excited about this showdown between you and Kobe. Now, how do you see it the first half? But I, first of all, I don't consider it a showdown, but I think that, you know, we, we both are trying to do our job to entertain and we try to play as hard and not try to isolate ourselves away from the rest of the players. So, I mean, in the mix of that, we will have our, our times where we go one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm not going to try to do it too often because I, I don't want to take away from the other guys being here. But you will not shy away from that isolation. Well, I will defend myself without a doubt. <laughs> all right, let's go down to Jim. Glad we'll get the response. You're not shying away at all from Michael. You're going after him, aren't you, Kobe? I'm just having fun. I'm having a good time, man. You know, Michael's a great player, one of the best players of all time. And, you know, what better way to learn the game than going at him? Let's give it up. But look at that list. That was the only record that I had that he hadn't got yet. Now he's taking everything. <laughs> Tim Hardaway of the Heat felt that he deserved the All-Star start. Michael missed a star starter from Minneapolis since George Michael in the 50s. Jordan with a smile on his face, toying with Carl Malone. Kemp. You got the one-on-one, -on -one. you see everybody clears out. No matter how good Marbury and Gugliotta may be, but it's a matter of who the fans wanted to see, like this guy, Kobe Bryant. The starters, at least, are the province of the fans. The reserves voted on by a consensus of each conference's coaches. Kobe with the best. Jerry Reynolds, who used to coach Sacramento, the eight points, and Shaq was really steamed. Here's Michael from 20. He's missed three games. So Michael Jordan did something that hasn't been done in an All-Star game ever. He recorded a triple-double. So Jordan deserved the MVP, which he also did last year. Shaq Mom ran a concession stand at the stadium selling soda and snuck him in as an eight-year-old to see the fight. He's planning on building a couple of hospitals there. Raises a ton of money. He's bringing the entire John Stockton. And he told us Friday that he feels kind of lost. He doesn't know what to do without his partner out there. But if he gets hot, he says he wants a lot of time and he wants the ball. MJ Swithers inside Bryant and a goaltending call on Shaquille O'Neal. But he really will dribble it out after the home rebound. Bryant puts it behind. if he traveled there or if he had some kind of violation because I'm not sure I've ever seen that move before but the official said hey it's a show we're watching it like everybody else that's the same dribble move that he used in the first half it's a move that I haven't seen in basketball before his creativity is amazing Kobe for three that's where Kobe is much better than creating offense taking a holiday especially in the last few minutes uncontested layups Bryant with a three 
displaying the full range. He has the incredible... Jordan, who has 15, comes back into the lane, off balance, and gets the roll. Isaiah Thomas and Bill Walton have seen an awful lot of basketball. They said they've never seen a player move like that. Where'd you learn that one? I was uh, really just playing on the playgrounds in Philadelphia when I came back from Europe. I picked up a few tricks here and there. Now, how much did you practice that for this game specifically? Not much. When I get in this game, I just basically try to play off of instincts. The entertainment package. Magic, myself, Michael Jordan, all of us, when we came into the league, we understood how to win championships, how to play basketball. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the All-Star Game. I'm Jim Gray, the creator, the innovator of Showtime right here, Magic Johnson. Have you ever seen a young man like Kobe Bryant so confident at his age and so mature? No, no, never. I think that uh, he show you things that uh, a lot of, uh, what are you talking about, 19 year old, a lot of guys 25 and 30, 35 can't even do. And that moves the, and a Don Chaney, two new coaches, and it totally threw my rhythm off. And when, for whatever reason, Chicago management wanted him to remain, and now Michael says, if Phil doesn't come back, I don't come back. But that's what makes the Chicago situation so bizarre. Because they all want him back, and the people in Chicago love him. And Jordan nails a three for emphasis as we discuss the situation. Yeah, and the guys that you talked about, though, though, they're not at the level that Michael Jordan is, or Magic Johnson was. A team that can win another championship or contend for one, and if Michael Jordan says, this is what I want, and it's worked to the tune of five titles and maybe seven, had Michael not gone away to play baseball, what's the problem? Joe and I looked at each other and said, you know, I think we're getting a little too old for this stuff now. <laughs> Jordan spins into the lane. The up and under is there for him. And you obviously told Shaq to inbound the ball, block a lot of shots, and rebound and throw long outlets. When the guy's that big, you don't say anything to him, but okay. And Edsel threw a crowd with a miss, but no good. Phil Baker has it blocked, and here's Michael. Jordan has 22 points, bouncing to Miller and Reggie. Can't finish. Blocked by Smiths. Now the hands of Michael. Ben Baker pushed Reggie Miller out of the way, and Rick Smiths came behind him and said, don't push my teammate. Dr. J in 1977, Magic Johnson in 1990. Rick Smith, he wants to win this game, and the East has come out to show their dominance. And we talked to Bird, he talked about playing Jordan at the point. Michael misses the game. His dedication this year, last year he tailed off at the end of the season and, 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 and did not play well in the playoffs. And it, it was because he stopped working out off the court. The next generation, when they finally get to the point where they can beat you. When age and injury does come for Larry Bird as a coach. And I asked Michael what his favorite memory of Larry Bird was. And he went back to the 63-point game at the 86 playoffs. The eyes lit up and he said, I got a little one. I got a little one down here. But he missed it. But what the young guys should do... There's always the possibility that the Lakers and Bulls could be in the finals. But this might be the last time. You didn't get back in the game the last 18 minutes. And George Carl iced you a little bit. Were you disappointed? No, not really. Uh, I just like to come out here and have some fun. I had my fun. And I was able to rest a little bit. What was the new thing you learned from him tonight? Well, I can't tell you that. I got to keep all that to myself. For all the future basketball players out there who are coming out of high school, can't give up my secrets. You embraced each other. Did he say anything to you in the world? I'm only going to allow him to have his trophy if he promises to come back and do it again. <laughs> the... All the fans at home, don't leave. Come on back and play again. Well, I will. I don't have a problem coming back. Honorary, I don't have a problem. All right. Congratulations, Michael. All right, let's go over to you, Bob. Well, just in case you missed that word, he's not.